this is May May. And I'm Hugh Moulton and this is Marion. Welcome to our home, also known as the Mod Pod. Come on in, we're gonna give you a tour. So I came up with the name Mod Pod and it was when Hugh and I bought this house and I was like, oh, we have to have a creative hashtag when I take this video showing everyone our house and I don't know, Mod Pod just like came out and you're like, I love that. Yeah, it worked. So a comment that I hear all the time is, oh my gosh, Megan, your house is nothing what I would expect it. It's not like your typical design style. And usually my answer is, have you met my husband? <laughs> <laughs> because he has an opinion and everything that we did in this home was 50-50 together, all of the decisions. So Hugh very much had an influence and I think what it ended up creating was something very unique that was unique to both of us and now has created our style, which I love. And it's constantly evolving and I think we learn from each other. Yeah, we, we had to go through it too. I mean, it was, we both came in it kind of strong, like this would be my style, yeah. my style. Yeah. But I think once we learned to kind of work with each other's styles, accept it and compromise, it worked out really well. Because at the end of the day, I think our new style is really a basis of our combined experience. Our honeymoon, yeah. Yeah. trip to Palm Springs, Palm Beach. Yeah. It's like it, it has influence in all those places. And like everywhere we've traveled, Hugh always wants to buy an <laughs> item in that city and bring it home and incorporate it into our house. And at first I was like, oh no, like I don't like all this stuff and collected things, what do I call them? Like all your trinkets. Trinkets, you know. Um, but now, like some of my favorite things are those pieces that we've bought together at like antique stores and um, Palm Springs and, and those pieces kind of sprinkled throughout our home. I look forward to doing that like over many, many years. And so I, you've opened me up to being more of a collector, which I never thought that I would be. We, I remember this so vividly, it was Sunday morning, we came here, uh, we found the listing, it had just come on the market, we came here, and we both said we have to have this house. Yeah, it was like no brain. No brain. had everything we wanted, had all the cool angles, it was one story, it could be modern, but it was completely untouched, which was perfect for our dream renovation project. I would say the biggest changes we made were the color palette, Everything in this house was brown, everything. And we knew we wanted a black and white house. Hugh and I have always said we're like yin and yang. He's the black and I'm the white mm. in every way, like complete opposite. So he wanted his black accents and I wanted all my white accents. Another thing that we changed was all the flooring. The house had carpet throughout um, and we knew we wanted these wide plank wood floors. You know, we also really changed the whole mood of the house. When we bought it, it was this dark gray house, everything was brown. But we were able to like brighten the whole thing up without changing any windows, just yeah. by changing the paint color and the furniture, the flooring. And now it has this totally different feel, right? Yeah. Lighting, we did add some lighting, which helped. But it, I think in the end of the day, like we changed the whole mood of the house. Yeah. Which is cool. How have the kids been working with this aesthetic? So far, so good. Uh, we were just talking today, like once we have two little bad girls running around, it's gonna be totally <laughs> different. But right now it's just one wild one. It's, it's, it's so far good. We, we've used a lot of performance fabrics, which I think helps. And I just, you know, I like the house to have character and to have life. And so I'm not worried about, you know, Mary spilling her milk on our coffee table or messing up the floors. To me, that's just life and that's real and things get wear and tear and that just gives it character. So yes, we've made some changes because of the girls. Um, we now have a round coffee table versus a rectangular coffee table with corners, things like that. But I want us to live in the house and for it to get wear and tear and that's okay. That's our, our life, you know? It's a lot easier to go with it than against it. Yes. What touches am I most proud of in this house? I just actually think it's this mesh of styles. I mean, we really combine this light, dark, new versus old. Like I really had to 
you know, store all my stuff in here and, and, and then kind of curate it with Megan's help and, and like my art, you know, it's not traditionally the Megan look, but I think once we kind of worked through it and found the right place for it and then the right partner with it, it all worked out really well. And I think some of the spatial things we did with like our bathroom worked out really well. We were able to use the existing footprint and make like our dream bath with what we had without having to move walls. It worked out really well. Yeah, I mean, that's like the entire house. We didn't have to open up any walls or knock down any walls. We were able to work within the footprint and we knew that when we bought it, which is so unique with a renovation. So we got really lucky in that. I love a master bedroom to just feel serene and calm, which our master bedroom definitely is that. But the addition of the spa porch was like my dream come true. And I think Hughes too, because he always wanted to have an outdoor tub. And when he proposed the idea to me, because I wanted a bathtub so bad that we had nowhere to put it, I was like, that's crazy. We're not putting a bathtub on our porch. And then he showed me some inspiration pictures from Instagram and I'm like, that's beautiful. And he did it and it's probably my favorite part of our master bedroom now. And then we're getting an outdoor shower on it too. Yeah, which will be <laughs> your favorite thing. What is your biggest pet peeve when it comes to me and our home? Um, I think when you call it my home. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think really hard before when I said our home. <laughs> um, I think my biggest pet peeve is there'll be something that I fall in love with or get used to, like a pillow, for example. <laughs> and I'll come home one day after work and that pillow's gone. I'm like, wait a minute, I liked that pillow. Where's the pillow? <laughs> like, well, we got new pillows. Don't you like these pillows? Like, well, I like that pillow. <laughs> I don't do well at things. Okay, but what is your favorite thing that I've done for our home? I think my favorite thing that you've done for our home is, I don't know the right, mature my style. My style is very industrial, raw, and collected, but I think, you know, it's, it's kind of grown up to have now maturity. Yeah. We've entered the new era, and you now yeah. we have nice things with old things, and they work well. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. I say that he's like one of my bougiest clients because <laughs> now that I've introduced him to quality pieces, he um, is very particular about the quality of things that come into our home and yeah. I'm really not complaining about it. I'm going spiral. <laughs> now I'm real picky. <laughs> so although the house looks, you know, somewhat complete now. It's never really done. It's never an ending project for us. We're always going to be doing things and changing things. But I think along the way, Hugh and I definitely learned some really important lessons, especially because we acted as our own contractors for this project. Um, we learned that you open up walls, you never know what you're gonna find. Um, a lot of issues, typically, things never go as planned. Um, what else did you say we learned? It's like we moved in and it took a while to figure out what we wanted from the house. So I think by doing that, we did have to move in prematurely and we ended up moving back out. But in, but in that process, we like learned a lot about what we wanted and what we needed to do to make it the way we wanted it, right? And the reason we had to move out is because we were putting in the floors. Right. So we moved in without the floors in, found the floors we wanted, moved out, put the floors in, moved yeah. back in. So one thing, one thing, when we bought the house, it had a separate dining room. Um, and we knew that we didn't want a separate dining room. We wanted an eating kitchen feel. We weren't sure what we were gonna do with that dining room. And then once I became pregnant during COVID, I knew that I needed a home office. So we decided to do the home office build out of that space and add all the custom cabinetry. And that space I used every single day for almost a year um, while I was at home pregnant with two babies. So that was a project we waited on until we knew what we needed. And then it was, it's been such a useful space in our home. So I'm very thankful that we did that. We call it the brain room. It has all of our computers. We have like <laughs> this mood board for just our projects we're thinking of the house. We have lots of storage, all our files. There's everything we need to run the house. Exactly. All right, thank you guys for following along the tour. See you next time. Bye.